from the Yarra Valley. Today we have driven northeast of Melbourne. We went through a little town of Yarra Glen, stopped off for some breakfast and coffee at the Yarra Glen cafe and store. That was delicious. I'm still finishing my coffee now. And now we've just come a little bit north of Yarra Glen to the Yarra Valley chocolateria and ice creamery. Views for days. Let's go try some deliciousness. This looks a little bit too delicious. <laughs> We're gonna try them now. So firstly, I've got myself a real hot chocolate here, a dark one, and it comes with an extra shot of chocolate, which I did not expect would be a literal like shot of chocolate. I've never seen that before, but I'm kind of excited about it. But I'll try it without the chocolate. They've given me a spoon, so you're expected to just eat this with a spoon, I think. Surely, right? Mmm, that's really nice. It probably doesn't need any extra chocolate, so let's try the spoon tactic. <laughs> this is so decadent. You know when you're a kid and you hear about hot chocolates and you think that a hot chocolate is literally just a cup full of hot chocolate? This is those dreams being realized. <laughs> mm. I'm only sad that I don't have churros to dip into it, <laughs> but that is very delicious. Sorry, I'll stop shoveling chocolate in my mouth now. They sealed it up like we weren't immediately going to get into it. No, that was just to stop you from thieving more things. Oh. Uh, Probably. I looked untrustworthy. <laughs> We also got a little box full of handcrafted truffles. There's a little booklet here describing all of them so that you can remember what you bought and match it up because they all look different. So what did we get? We got Irish coffee, limoncello shot, strawberry, pina colada, whiskey dream, and lime. That? And lime, zingy lime. Zingy, zingy zesty lime. Which one should we try? Ah, uh, well you should try one of the ones that you might like. All right, well, Irish coffee was my first instinct, so I'm gonna try the Irish coffee one. Mmm. Has anyone in the history of the world ever had a bad truffle? But <laughs> this is a delicious truffle. <laughs> Premium 73% dark ganache infused with locally roasted coffee and whiskey and milk chocolate. Coffee and whiskey and ganache. You can't go wrong. Did you want to try one? Oh, all right. I guess I'll have the, the one with the most bite. The zingy lime. Look at how perfect. Yellow and green and... All right. I think I need a bite of that one too. Liquid Santa. Surprise, surprise. It's got the flavor of some part of a lemon meringue. Not a zing. I was hoping for some violent zing. One that would just completely there knock me for six. There's definitely some zing in there. Yeah, true. Love it. Zingy, zesty, zongy, lime. Zongy. <laughs> Established 83 like me. Maybe on the same day. Imagine that. arrived in Hillsville, which is one of the main town centres in the Yarra Valley. And there's an area which has a Matilda Bay brewery next to an innocent bystander cellar door. And so we came to the Matilda Bay brewery for a drink. And I am having an Alpha Pale Ale, and it's delicious. Just a small one. We'll move on to the wineries a little later. And I've got myself a St. Ronan Cider, which is from right here in Hillsville. And it's very nice and delicate and sweet and just how I like it. Should we check out some vineyards? Or okay. a, a vineyard? <laughs> I want to buy these glasses. A little bit of wine left. <laughs> it's hard to leave some in the glass. <laughs> Look at the legs on that. 
Just had a lovely visit to Dominic Porte Winery near Hillsville. Yarra Valley is a very well-known wine area in Victoria or in the country. Another one that came on recommendation from someone I know. It's also nice being in this area on a weekday when it's not crowded because you just get the whole place to yourself. So now we might keep heading in the Dandenong Ranges direction, see if we can find some views perhaps. I've said some good things about Queensland and rainforests, but Victoria is doing it marvellously as well. We've come to a place called Burke's Lookout. It's highly rated on Google. We can't see it yet. Just reached the car park. Got a little walking track that's delightful. We'll see if we can see Melbourne from it. a nice view. Mm -hmm. You can see Melbourne City there, it's covered in a bit of cloud at the moment but you can see it peeking through the cloud and the whole of the rest of Melbourne. Melbourne's not a small place. <laughs> and Port Phillip Bay, if that's what it's called. Yes, you can see out to the water. See a quarry over there, see the two industrial areas ahead of us. Definitely worth coming to Burke's Lookout if you're in the area. And it's not very hard to get from Yarra Glen to the Dandenongs, so if you're heading outside of Melbourne, if you have the, uh, the car or the time to come out here, definitely give it a go. Oh yeah. Possibly bring a picnic up here. Yeah. This is the place for a picnic for sure. It's a good place to hang out, that's for sure. Mm. There's more exploring to be done. Mm, where to next? come down the hill a bit from where we were before in the Dandenongs to Sherbrooke and we're doing a little walk to Sherbrooke Falls in the rain can't let a little bit of wet weather stop us and oh my lord there's so many ferns around here it's so pretty to the falls and it's very pretty here so green and delicious looking mm-hmm it's amazing my glasses are fogging up <laughs> we're at Sherbrooke Falls near Sassafras it's quite a um gentle uphill walk the whole way here which meant that I was huffing and puffing but Jesse found it pretty easy so <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's really nice really thick foliage so good there's many memorial gardens and uh, botanic gardens around, but they some of them close at five, so we thought, well, let's try a waterfall. That won't close. So we were not disappointed, even though the rain is starting to notch up. But it kind of feels right, being in a rainforest area with actual rain. You're, you're fogging over fuzzy there. Look how getting. <laughs> 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 ah, can't see. Can't see you anymore. That looks ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is going to be it for our day up in the Yarra Valley and the Dandenongs. We're going to roll on down into Melbourne after this. Should be fun. If you'd like to see more videos, subscribe, like, notify, <laughs> notificate. And we'll see you in the next one. Jess is blending in with his surroundings. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Rubbing it together gets rid of it, right? Are you getting the lemon meringue thing? Not the meringue part, but the um... The lemon part? <laughs> the soft, squelchy, fat cloud looking bit. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some extra chocolate. I'm doing it. You could only see how stoked my face is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't hard to drive up here in our two-wheeler van. <laughs>
two wheeler. <laughs> two wheeler. Two wheel drive van. <laughs> Balancing on two wheels.